Good morning, everyone. I'm Sarah Satch, and it's time for Coffee and Crochet with Sarah live on YouTube. I almost said live on Facebook. We haven't done that in almost a year. <laughs> live on YouTube. And again, my desk is just covered with lots of things to talk about. And I'm super excited about today. I have some really good news to tell you, as well as announce the winner of our October giveaway. I notice I have a gray hair that keeps sticking up, so just kind of ignore that. It's like right across my bangs, okay? <laughs> I don't care about going gray. I am going gray, but I don't care. I just don't want it sticking straight up. <laughs> I guess I'm a unicorn. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? Now, just in case you don't know, every Tuesday, unless something comes up, 10.30 a.m. Central Time on YouTube, live with Sarah every Tuesday, okay? I had someone email me the other day and they had watched one of my older videos where I said 9.30. When we moved from Colorado down here to Oklahoma, instead of making you all change your time, I just changed mine because 9.30 in Colorado is Mountain Time, which is Central Time, and Oklahoma is 1030. And so all that did for me is um, let me have an extra hour of sleep in the morning. <laughs> all righty. So uh, can everybody see okay and doing okay today? I thought I saw something odd there for a second. Okay. So before I announce the winner, I wanted to tell you a really funny story just so that we get everybody in here. Okay. Well, I, um, this last week was fall break. My grandkids were out of school, um, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, of course, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday. My grandson, um, he is in the marching band. They had a couple of competitions. We went to the game on Thursday night, and then, um, Friday, they, they drove all the way to St. Louis for competition. And in their region, they got second place, which is really good. And then in the national thing, they got sixth place, which there were over 100 bands in this. So I was so impressed with my grandson's band. And if you want to watch it, it's Mustang High School Band 2022 on YouTube. It's really easy to find. Their theme is prom. And all the band members have these pastel tuxedos. So beautiful. And then the, the girls that do the flag flipping, they had on black, crystally, sparkly dresses. It was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. And they did a fantastic job. Anyway, the funny story is I had my two grand girls, Zoe and Callie, on Wednesday. And we decided to go shopping at a store called um, Five Below. And I don't know if you have one there, but it's it used to be everything was $5 and below. But it's all different prices. And a lot of things are really cheap there. Well... They like these things called squash mallows, okay, or mellows, or however you say them, okay. So uh, there was this cute little black cat pumpkin and this cute little bat that looked like a candy corn. And I wanted to get one for myself. Of course, I got them a bunch of them, and, um, but I couldn't decide. So my, my grandgirls go, oh, Ma, we want to buy them for you. I said, well, um, do you have any money? <laughs> They're like, no but we want you to buy them for you from us. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I think they were like $3 and 50 cents a piece, but aren't those adorable? You have to go. If you have one of these stores in your town, it's called five below. They have some of the most unique, fun things, games and puzzles, even some silly clothes and some fun shirts and a lot of electronic stuff too. But it's a really fun store. We like to go there and we also like to go. We went to the Dollar Tree also and got color books and lots of fun stuff there and crafts. Anyway, I wanted to share that funny story with you. I love my grand girls. They're always thinking of me. <laughs> they really are. They had the best of intentions. All right. Now, let's get to the most important thing today, which is ba -ba 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 -ba, the winner of the October giveaway. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago when I, gave, when I talked about the giveaway for um, September, I got an email that was very rude. She said, I talk too fast. 
You know what? When I get excited about giving away stuff like that, I get t excited and I do talk too fast. So listen slower, okay? <laughs> Is that even possible to listen slower? <laughs> All right, so. Let's refresh our memory what the giveaway is. I'm going to click over here real quick just so you can see it up close. The October giveaway is two of these premier cakes called Coffee Shop. You can see the yardage there and the ounces. It is a light three. And the color, if you guys don't win, you want to go get it, is called sandstone and it's absolutely gorgeous it looks like browns and grays but it's also a little bit of like a maroony color in there and it's just beautiful soft yarn okay so you're going to get two cakes of this yarn if you win and then you're also going to get this set of two pom-pom makers now someone said but how do you know how to use them on the back is a picture photo tutorial to tell you how to use them. They're really super simple and they work really great. The problem with me and pom-pom makers is I am too lazy to take the time to wind it on there when I can wind it on my hand or my arm, <laughs> you know? So anyway, that is the prize. Okay, Sheila says she's got a five below in Wisconsin. I know before we moved from Colorado and Parker, they had put one in there and we'd been there quite a few times. All right, anyway, back to the point here. Sorry, I am a little bit like a dog with a squirrel, you know, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> All right, now, just a reminder, if you win, do not, I'm saying this right into the camera, do not put your email address or your shipping address in any comments ever, anywhere, on social media, anywhere, okay? So if you win, contact me through my web page, and you can find that link underneath the video. Just scroll down. It'll say web page and a link, okay? If you can't find that, you can also contact me through the Posh Pooch Designs Facebook page and send me a message. I really prefer, and I think it's the safest way, to send me your email address or your address. I can get your email address when you send me an email. If you go to my web page, okay? Scroll down, it'll say web page, you just click it. And then on my web page is a box. It has a picture of my dog sitting in my office chair. And it has, it says contact me or contact us. I might have, I think I changed it to say contact us. Click that tab and it'll shoot right over to my email. A big blue box will come up and you can send me an email, okay? All right, now, if you don't want me to have your email address, you can do that through Facebook, but you won't get the tracking number because you, you get the tracking number when you send the email, okay? All right, so. Are we ready? Ba -bum -bum -bum. The winner of the October giveaway is Sarah Bonvillar. Now, I'm not sure if I'm saying the last name right. Sarah is S-A-R-A-H. She has an H on her name. I don't. Okay. And the last name is B-O-N-I. No. Let me start the last name over. B-O-N-V-I-L-L-I-A-R. Do you see her on here anywhere? I don't see her name, but it might have scrolled past. If you know her, let her know, okay? Sarah, congratulations. Bon Villiar. It sounds French to me. What a pretty name. So anyway, contact me, and I will get this out. Contact me today, and I can get it shipped out tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday, and Wednesday is the day I spend with my grand girl. Uh, Callie has to go back to school. Zoe's homeschooled, so they take Wednesday off, and then they have school on Saturday morning. So, I'll be out and about tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so that's the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I just love giving stuff away. And I already have something I got from Annie's uh, for next month, and you're going to love it. I love it. I want to keep it. <laughs> but I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move those over. All right, I wanted to show you something. I um, I had gone online looking for the Pioneer Woman's yarn. I still have not been able to order it, 
Every time I click on it, it says out of stock, and then it says it'll be at Walmart on like a certain date. Well, I keep checking Walmarts everywhere, and they're not putting it out yet. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I don't want to buy four. I want to be able to buy an assortment of colors. Because if you buy it online, um, most of the time you have to get like, I think it's four. And I don't want to do that. I want assortment. Okay, so... I was in Walmart looking for that, and I found this crochet book. And I don't know if you've seen this one yet. It's from Crochet World. But look at the name of it. Scrap Busting Crochet. This is right up our alley, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. And this is also, I think Cro Crochet World is put out by Annie's. I don't have to look and see. I don't know. I thought it was. It doesn't say on here. Crochet World's put out by Crochet World. <laughs> I guess I, at one time I thought it was put out by Annie's, but I looked through here, and it really has a lot of really neat projects from a bed for your dog to all kinds. Look at this little owl right there. And so um, I, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> but I wanted you to know about it so you can go and get it. I got it at Walmart. And so, wait a minute, what did you say here? Elaine Mosley says, my Walmart has it. I'm in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Well, they need to get it to Oklahoma because Oklahoma is where the Pioneer Woman is. Okay? I, I, I love the crochet hooks. They're comfortable to use. They're true to size, and I love them. But I want to try the yarn. Okay? Anyway, go get this magazine. I think here I paid, let me see here. In the U.S. it's $9.99 and in Canada it's $10.99. And you're getting 40 plus projects for your scraps. Okay. And, and another thing I wanted to tell you is, you know, this year for 2022, we've been doing a scrap busting project a month for our year-long crochet along. And I'm really, really, really thinking about just extending it into 2024 to continue on with getting rid of our scrap yarns and using them to make beautiful and useful things. I've enjoyed it so much. And so I think, I, I'm not saying this is solid in stone, you know, it's not carved in stone, but I think I am going to do that because it is so much fun and it's also so um, freeing when you know you have, like me, I have tubs full of scraps. I have one under here. I was rolling it into balls, you know, and I, and I roll some into singles, doubles, triples, and and four rolls, depending on how long a strands I have. And then I use those things to make things, um, use those balls to make things like our Scrap Happy Projects. And so I think I'm going to continue on with that because I think it's just a really neat idea, okay? Yes, Joann's does have the have this magazine, Kim. And I think you can get it a little bit cheaper at Joann's. They do a uh, book markdown from what it's from they don't give they don't charge you the suggested price. It's like a, a little bit cheaper. So anyway, I just saw this and I had to get it and it has some really neat projects in it. It's well worth getting it, okay? So I'm going to set that over there. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. I can't believe and believe I forgot this. I have exciting news. Some of you know we moved down here to Oklahoma back in the spring. We put our house up for sale and then we took it off because we decided we wanted to put siding, new siding on the side and a couple new windows and different things. Uh, we had to uh, have the septic system um, checked and everything. Anyway, we put it back up on the market, and guess what? We sold it! <laughs> we close on October 27th if everything goes well, which is just a week away. Okay, so then, you know, we've been looking at houses, and then we stopped, because every house we looked at had some kind of weird issue <laughs> that we just didn't want, okay? And one of the things about down here is the land taxes, um, property taxes, are so much more expensive and they have and it's really hard to find property and then of course you've got a lot of taxes well we found an addition that was doing new builds on um, a half acre lots and so 
We're going to buy a new house. <laughs> I'm so excited. I went, it's not finished yet. We had to uh, pick out the carpeting and the kitchen is just amazing. And the other really cool thing is new yarn room again. Only this time it's going to be bigger than this one. This one's not horribly small. Part of the problem with this one is because this is a rental house, of course, but <clears throat> the closet, the way they have it done, it takes up a lot of the room because it's like when you first walk in the closet's right there and it takes up space. And I think this room might be 12 by 9 or 10, so it's not a really big room. The room that, that I had for my yarn studio in Parker was enormous, but so it's not going to be that big, <laughs> but it is going to be bigger than this room. And it's just, it's just beautiful, and it's such a blessing to be able to get our house sold, and we can use that money to buy a new house, and um, uh, get moved in and get settled. And I'm really hoping we can get that done before Christmas. Because, I mean, you know, they have some things to finish. When we did the first tour, you know, the front door wasn't on yet. And I requested a red door. They're like, yeah, we'll do that. We'll paint it red. And the brick is like, um, like a deepish red and charcoal. And a lot of the trim is black. And the d garage doors are black. And it's just, <laughs> it's just, I'm just real excited about it. If everything goes through. You know, we and we can get it. And the thing is, we can close quickly because we're we're gonna get the cash from our house and then buy a new house. Okay, someone asked, where did I find the magazine? I found the magazine on um, at Walmart. They have end caps, and then they have what I used to call ears. They like hang off the sides, and it was in a, a rack of magazines down the yarn aisle at the end in one of those. And they had like six different magazines. Some of them were knitting. Some of them were crafts. One of them was beading, I think. Oh, maybe there have been two beading. And then they had two crochet, I think. But anyway, they were over by the yarn aisles, okay? The Walmart here in Mustang, they don't have a book section anymore except a really tiny one. All the magazines are put on these racks that are in the sections of where you would find things like that. Like over by all the cooking pots and things like that, there are, are these racks on the sides where they have like cooking and baking and all that. And then of course all the registers up front they do, but they don't have a book uh, area anymore. The Walmart up in Yukon has a, still has a book area, but also the Mustang Walmart here is being remodeled. So <clears throat> one really weird thing about this house that we're buying is the address is actually Yukon, um, but the school they go to is Mustang, but our bills will go to the electric company in Oklahoma City. <laughs> Isn't that weird? And it's, it's, so, it's so funny because where this addition is, where they're building these houses, it's five miles from my granddaughter that lives in Yukon, and it's five miles from my granddaughter and grandson that live in Mustang. So I'm going to be right in the middle. <laughs> So that's going to be super fun. <laughs> the other thing that was just a kicker, when I walked up to that house and I saw that in the landscaping in the front, they put in rose bushes. And y'all know me. I love rose bushes. I'm like, we got to buy this house. It's got rose bushes, you, you know. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> if all goes well, if you're praying people, pray for us. It's a lot of stress getting off, um, knowing, uh, getting that off our shoulders, knowing that our house has sold. And that is super cool. Okay. And now, and now, um, of course, we have to clean this one. <laughs> you know, but we've worked really hard keeping it clean and tidy, though. So, and our, our landlords that we have, they, they really wanted us to buy this house. But in reality, the bedrooms are a little bit smaller than we want, and the backyard's quite a bit smaller. Because I want to either put up a swim spa again, because I had a swim spa in Parker, because I really need it for, for swimming and keeping it for exercise. And so I think we're either going to put up a swim spa or a pool in the new house. And I want to have room for that for my grandkids. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> hang on two seconds. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> a frog just jumped right in my throat. <laughs> it's because I got too excited and talked too much. All right, now let's talk about what happened this week and what's going to happen on Friday, okay? So I got tons of emails and questions about this blanket behind me. 
And this was what we did yesterday. And what makes this particular granny square blanket so special is it's a continuous granny square. You start the blanket, the first two rows, just like any other granny square. Then you do, you do a little bit of a different chain area. And then all you have to do is keep going around and around and around and around until you're ready to be finished. And I love this. And what I do with mine, this one's a pretty nice size one. But what, uh, but what I do with mine is when I have, depending on what I want to do, like this is a single strand acrylic yarn. I love it. I love all the crazy colors in it. And I saw this in, when I was taking pictures. That's upside down. When I started this one, it ended up with a heart in the middle. And I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I love that. But anyway, you just keep going. You just keep going until you're done. And so I'll throw my scrap yarns of medium weight number four acrylic in one tub. And then I can take this out and work on it and add it as I want to. It's a great thing to have sitting next to your crochet chair. Or maybe under, like under my desk here, I throw my, my scraps in because I work here for my tutorials. And you, can, and you can do this with any weight of yarn. You can do four strands, three strands, two strands, one strand, chunky, bulky, uh, you know, light, three, two, one, as long as you use the appropriate needle. And what I usually tell people is when you're doing something like this, choose the crochet hook or crochet needle, as some people say, that corresponds with the yarn that you're using. And if you don't know, you can look it up online. <clears throat> and I tell people all the time, the best place to go is to the Crochet Guild of America.com. They have so much information. And another place to go to is Crochet for Dummies. I know that sounds kind of like a rudish name, but really they have so much information that you can find charts on crochet hooks, charts on yarn, things that crochet, you know, hook together, all kinds of stitches, a corresponding thing. I mean, it just has a lot of really good information there. Okay, and so that's what we did yesterday. Okay, <clears throat> a lot of people don't really care for, for granny squares. I love them because it was one of the first things that I did learn how to crochet once I learned how to do the basic stitches, single, double, and triple stitches. Once I learned those, then I learned to crochet a granny square. And then I learned to make blankets and put them together, or you can make one big one. So <clears throat> it's really cool. All right, the next thing we did was... Um, on, was it Thursday? No. What am I thinking? Friday fun day, we did the spider webs. And you can see I made them in lots of different colors and check out my spiders. Aren't those beautiful? Well, what I did was I want, I was, I went to Walmart in their Halloween section and I was looking for those cheapy little plastic black rings and they make orange ones too, I think, because I really like to use them. I like to have them on hand. When I, I'm going to say this year, because I, in Parker, I didn't have trick or treaters for 10 years. And so I'm super excited that I get to give out candy this year. But I also know that there are some kids that can't have nuts. There are some kids that have uh, dairy problems or even autistic issues where they just cannot have the candy. ADHD, some kids cannot have the sugar. And so I thought I'll have some of these out because, I mean, girls and boys both will love these, right? It looks like it's crawling up my face. <laughs> and they're a ring, but the back opens up and you can easily stick them on to these spider webs. Now, this can be a coaster. So if you're going to put your cup on your coaster, make sure you put the spider out on the edge. Okay. And another fun thing to do is if you're going to have a party on Halloween or around Halloween, make one of these for every one of your guests and let them take it home. Now, what I'm going to be doing is making a bunting. And I've got some other things that I'm going to add to it. Okay, so I've got these four. I'm thinking of making a purple one too, like a lavender. I think it would be nice to have five. And I'm going to make a bunting because we're going to, um, I don't want my dogs barking. And so we're going to turn the lights on in the garage. And I think I'm going to hang it there and just sit on there and watch the kids go by and uh, hand out candy there. So I can do that. But I'm also, I want to make it bigger. And so this Friday fun day, I'm going to be showing you how to make another little bunting piece that you can put together and just have some fun with it. Okay. 
So these can be a coaster, they can be a bunting, they can be a decoration, and they're fun just to give out as party favors to your guests and friends that come to your Halloween party. <laughs> and these spiders, I want to tell you where I got them. Walmart, up in their party se or, um, Halloween section, 98 cents for eight. So I only found the purple ones there. I'm going to go back. I have to do some shopping today. So I'm gonna, I've got to run up there. <clears throat> I go through a lot of veggies and fruits, okay? And so I have to go back and get some more. And so I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna get some more of those. I want to have them on hand. Because, you know, kids might rather have that than all the candy anyway. I did buy a big bag of candy, and I made sure I got candy that I don't like. And that's really hard to find because I really like candy. But I got some of those ones that, that are sour, like... Um, I can't remember something head. My granddaughters love them. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called, but they're sour. And uh, I thought I'd just do that, get, you know, give them out to the kids and stuff. Whatever's left, my grandkids can have. So, but um, my husband's like, but you didn't get me any chocolate. I'm like, I'll get you some today. <laughs> my husband loves his chocolate. He looked Reese's peanut butter cups, him and his dad both. Okay, so then the other thing that we did, I know I'm talking too fast. I know I'm so sorry. The other thing we did was our our ombre pumpkin, and I just love this yarn. Look how that goes. Light pink, dark pink, orange, and darker orange. And then all we did was add this beautiful pink ribbon, and you can use any color ribbon that you want, and added a pick to it. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And it, 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 it checks off the boxes in that it's pink for breast cancer awareness, and it's orange for Halloween and you can use any ombre that you want and you don't even have to use ombre you can use a striping yarn you can use whatever that you want to the yarn I used was this this is man mandala or mandela or mandali whatever you want to call it I call it mandala by lion brand and the color is called serene but see look at it goes pinks and oranges isn't that beautiful and I've got another one I may have to make another pumpkin. <laughs> Super pretty. All right. So I think I've covered everything now. Uh, isn't the atomic heads the one that are hot? Yeah, they're called warheads. The atomic fireballs are the ones that are red and hot. And I love those, but I can't have them because they have cinnamon in them. I know I have so many things I can't have, but there are lots of wonderful things I can. So we're going to, we're going to think about that. Okay. So some things coming up in the future this Friday, we have a, like I said, another piece for our bunting on Thursday. We have a little pillow. We're going to make this so cute. I just love it. <laughs> I'm not telling you about it yet though. And then, um, the first week of November, depending on how things go, because I may have to take the first week of November off to pack and unpack. So, but the plans are the first week of November, we are going to be doing our um, Christmas or winter um, crochet along. And it's going to be done with blanket yarn. I showed you, I already started it, but I showed you the yarn that I purchased. Let me grab one of these real quick. This is the yarn that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Burnett Blanket Twist, and the color is upside down foliage. Well, that makes sense since it's green. It's like a variegated green. It goes from like a dark green to a light green, and it's got a cream twist in it. It's really pretty. Okay, You're, I'm, we're going to be using two of those and then some cream, and then I also got some other colors um, that are velvet yarns we're going to be using. And I'll make sure you get all that information before we get started. And I'll I'm going to talk more. I should have more information about that next week, okay? All right. So, that's a lot of stuff, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, how is the this and that working out? I am having so much fun with it. It is so much fun reading the comments why you choose this or why you choose that and last week we did um your favorite yarn weight now tomorrow we are doing another this and that i i've already filmed it i haven't edited it yet but um 
tomorrow's video is going to have is going to have to do with how you hold your yarn in order to get proper tension and are you a loose or tight crocheter and I know I've often said I'm a loose hooker but you know what I mean <laughs> It's just a joke. Don't be offended. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. I forgot. And I'm re I really am enjoying that because it, it helps me um, get to know you better. And it's also going to help you get to know me better. Because one thing, someone told me the other day, they, they sent me an email and they said, you are a fantastic actress. And I said, I said, honey, this is not an act. <laughs> this is who I am. I don't play any games. I don't do any acting. What you see is what you get. Okay? <clears throat> and I'm hoping to continue at least through Christmas and maybe into the new year to continue to do the This and That series. I'm really loving it. And to me, it's just a little bit more personal. You know, because I'm telling you my thoughts on it. And you get to tell me your thoughts on it. Give your opinion and why. And I like that. Because I can. it helps me learn about each other. Alright, so. <clears throat> I'm going to have to let you go. My voice is starting to die. And I know you all know that because of my thyroid cancer, I my, my throat gets dry really quickly. And so... Um, it's doing that. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. This means I have to stop talking for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. <laughs> All righty. So I hope you will tune in tomorrow for a this and, for the this and that video. And, um, uh-oh, Kim's telling a joke. Why did the skeleton run away? <sighs> Scared out of its skin? Come on, Kim, give us the answer. Because a dog wanted his bones. <laughs> you know what's so funny is I used to give my dogs those little bones all the time. They don't hardly have any teeth anymore. They can't, do, they can't even chew. <laughs> Cam, that is hilarious. But I kind of like mine better where they were scared out of their skin. <laughs> all right, my friends, my yarny friends. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.